And with the 16th selection of the 2021 WNBA Draft, the Chicago Skies select Natasha Mack, forward out of Oklahoma State. I really enjoyed watching Natasha Mack dominate on the defensive end this season. She was the Naismith Defensive Player of the Year. Just had incredible wingspan, seven foot, and can bother shots, can deflect shots, can contest shots, can change the way you want to run your offense. And she's still growing in her offensive skill set, but you see the potential at 6'4". She does have a nice touch and is continuing to get better. This is a player that only played at the Power 5 level for two seasons. So if you can imagine if she continues to play against a high level of competition, how good she could be at the WNBA. I love her upside, Rebecca. Yeah, absolutely. I think that's that's the key word here is she has a great upside because of her ability to run the floor. She's tall. She's long. She rebounds. She will roll in the pick and roll. She will help protect the rim. So this is a nice player, especially if you're looking for somebody who you can continue to develop. So Natasha Mack is headed to the Chicago Sky. James Wade has a lot of talent there in Chicago now that Natasha will join, and she is with Holly Ruff. Natasha Mack, this is so exciting. You go to a Chicago team that already has some really great bigs. Candace Parker, Azare Stevens, Stephanie Dolson, how can you, Ruthie Hebert, how can you learn from all of these bigs and continue your growth in this basketball journey? I'm sorry, I'm not going to lie, I did not hear that question. My family <laughs> okay. going crazy in the back. That's okay, I'm going to start over and ask a different one. You gave up basketball for a while. What brought you back to the game and made you love it and fall in love all over again? Um, it would have to be to my AC coach, Coach Randy, because like, at first I really thought I was done, but he hit me up and had me thinking about it all over again. Yeah, for people who don't know, you quit basketball. You were actually working in a chicken plant, cutting the wings off of chickens on a conveyor belt, 90 chickens an hour, and uh, you decided basketball was going to be a better way. So how does it, how is it to go from that, working in a factory, to now being a WNBA draftee? Um, it feels amazing because, you know, cutting 90 chickens per minute is not where it's at. In order, you know, I'm back to doing what I love to do, and I get paid for that. So that's great, amazing. Um, you know, it's all in God's plan. So you'll get to go to a training camp. What do you need to prove immediately when you get to the WNBA? How can you prove yourself quickly? I need, I need to prove that I should have been in the first round. It's as simple as that, and that's what I'm here to do. I love it. They're sleeping on you, and we all know it. That's okay, but you're going to be in a great spot in Chicago. And, Natasha, we will see you in the Windy City. Thank you, young lady. Thank you. Thank you.